Hey guys, what's going on? So we got some news regarding the Bad Batch, and it's not great news. So I know we all thought it was going to come out in the spring, but unfortunately, we now don't know when it's going to be coming out. It could not even be coming out in 2022. But anyways, on to the article. So at the time of its announcement, the season two of the Bad Batch was given a 2022 date, with many assuming a spring release date for the series. It looks as though the animated series could be slipping later into the year. Reddit user BZPJMJ64 uncovered in issue number 209 of the Star Wars Insider that the Bad Batch season two may not be coming in the spring. So in past issues of the magazine, the project was listed as coming in the spring of 2022, which would have been pretty much now or like in the next month, but that's now been removed. That tag's been removed and it now says coming soon. So it could still be coming in the spring. Um, they might have moved it to the summer, they might have moved it to the fall, might have moved it to winter, they might have moved it to 2023 spring. Now a spring 2022 release was never officially stated, however it just said that in the magazine there that it was coming soon, but I mean if they really wanted to make it official, I feel like they would have probably put it in you know, on the official website, on the Star Wars website, and broadcasted it a little bit more, marketed it a little bit better, so that by the time Book of Boba was done, we would know what was really coming out, and we could, you know, focus on the next thing. But I almost feel like they maybe want us to focus on Kenobi right now, because they know the stakes are super high with that show, they know it's gonna be a really hot show, and this one really needs to sell well. So maybe they're just focusing on Kenobi as much as they can right now, and then they're gonna be focusing on Bad Batch later, you know, once Kenobi's done. But even the thing with that is that once Kenobi's out, there's like a whole bunch of content that's coming afterwards too, like comics, books, you know, the Padawan book comes after that show. So it's like, I don't even know if after Kenobi they're really gonna be done with it. I think there may even be some like spin-offs of characters that they have in the show that could maybe like go on to have their own spin-off show, you know, like, who knows, maybe that Jedi that we heard about in one of the leaks. The article says that the spring 2022 release was never actually officially announced for the Bad Batch season two. However, it did appear, it did appear in official material like Star Wars Insider, yet the animated series has never been widely promoted to have the spring release date. So same thing I said, I guess. With Kenobi in the hopper for late May, a spring release would not have made sense unless Disney wanted to double up on their Disney Plus Star Wars. This is something that hasn't happened yet, but many assume that eventually, with the sheer number of projects coming down the line it'll have to happen however that time is not now so that's true they got so many things planned i feel like we're going to be getting a ton of star wars stuff back to back kind of like they have with marvel but i gotta say it is taking them a damn long time however we'll see what happens going forwards you know with mando season three whenever we'll get that you know we haven't really heard much of an update on that so I'm hoping that we at least get that in 2022, you know, maybe at the very end, like December or something again, or November would be great. But I'm pretty hopeful, you know, I mean, we, we still have Kenobi, we still have Bad Batch, most likely coming this year, and Andor. The only one up in the air, I guess, is Mando Season 3 and probably Bad Batch being pushed a little later. So that means potentially, guys, we could get Kenobi, Andor, well, Kenobi, Bad Batch Season 2, Andor, and then Mando season three. That's still four shows left, and we're already done one quarter of the year pretty much. So we got a ton of stuff left to uh, speculate and theorize on, but I feel like now they're gonna focus on Kenobi, because you know, having, if Bad Batch came out now, let's say it's another like 16 run episode, that's gonna take us right into Kenobi, which would be cool, but I feel like maybe they want us to like simmer a bit and then let it really explode when Kenobi comes out, which in my opinion, I think is lame. I think, you know, just hit it hard when, uh, when you got it, you know, like if you got Bad Batch, season two ready to go drop it why not but that being said this also leaves a big gap at some certain point because you got Kenobi which is six episodes so six weeks May 25th that'll take us into I think the first week of July or just the very end of June and or probably the first week of July and then after that we could have Bad Batch season two and then we could have Andor and then we could have Mandalorian season three so I feel like after Kenobi it'll be back to back but right now it's going to be probably the longest little bit, which is no big deal. I mean, we've waited several years between um, projects, so it's not like we're uh, new to waiting, right? They make us wait for quite a long time. But yeah, anyways, I would have loved to gotten this now. I'd love to uh, watch the show. I did like this season. I did like season one, even though the ending for the finale was a little bit, ah, it could have been a little bit more exciting. I feel like there was a big cliffhanger with uh, everything going on and Mount Tantis. So hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Let me know what you think about Bad Batch season two, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember the force will be with you always.